Uh, so what I'm doing here is I'm just going to wire up a uh, switch machine just to make sure my circuit's going to work with the LEDs. So I've got two green LEDs, uh, the cobalt. Uh, I'm going to use uh, this switch um, which I've wired on, soldered on some uh, male plugs there just to make it easier to um, connect and disconnect while testing it. And I did test it earlier with, uh, this is a 9 volt uh, battery um, phone charger. Um, I just found that uh, when you have the LEDs connected in series, the voltage drops by about um, 3 volts with these green ones. And uh, it was just running really slow and struggling uh, to turn the switch machine. So what I've uh, done is I went out and got a 12 volt uh, phone charger. So I'm just going to uh, solder some female plugs onto that. And I'll be able to plug it in. Uh, and then once I've done that I'll solder the uh, LEDs onto some plugs and then we'll plug it all in and test it to make sure that it works correctly. So for wiring the LEDs I uh, got two black wires twisted them together like this and then I just put on one of these plugs just to make it a bit easier Now I'll just tin the ends of these wires that are going to connect on to the LEDs. This is only a, as a test piece to make sure the circuits work so I am just rushing it through a little bit, not trying to be too precise with soldering. So the LEDs have a short arm and a long arm and to ensure that the circuit's going to work what I do is uh, bend the short arm out on each one. So by bending the short arm out, I know I want them to go opposite directions. So the short arm on the top LED here is pointing to the left, and the short arm on the bottom one is pointing to the right. So as long as I solder them in that order, like this, then I shouldn't have any issues uh, with uh, the direction of the current. So I tend just very quickly on the LED, don't want to hold too much heat on it, so I just touch it, give it a really quick tin, same on this side, and on the bottom, just trying to be very quick. Alright, and all I have to do is press it on, the solder will melt into it and then let it go. And that's it. Now on this one. Alright, so this is just the test piece, just making sure that no wires are crossing. And so you can pretty well see here that I've got... <coughs> uh, so the power comes in one side, splits off in each direction, uh, but it can only travel through one of the LEDs. So it'll either go through the top or the bottom one, 
come out and then it'll power through to the switch machine. So that's done. Um, I've got my power source wired up and the switch and I've just got a couple of spare pieces of wire just to make it easier to plug in and out of the switch machine. So now it's just a matter of plugging all this together and testing it. So the power source goes in to the top. And one side, the middle section goes into the switch machine. The other side of the switch machine. And this one is going to have the LEDs running through it. So you go there. And one here. So if I just lay that out so you can see. So I've got my power source going into the switch. And then there's the one line coming out of the switch going into the switch machine. And the other line comes out of the switch. Goes uh, power routes through these LEDs depending on which direction the current is flowing. We'll light up either the top or the bottom LED. And when I flip the switch, the uh, switch, switch machine should change direction and depending on what direction, either one of those LEDs will light up. So we'll go ahead and test that. Alright, so I've got my power source plugged in. You can see the uh, bottom LED here is lit. And one thing to note also, you just want to be careful not to touch any of the wires so you don't cross it and it will short out and seize the motor. And also a handy function of the switch machine is it acts as a resistor so you don't need to add additional resistors for the LEDs. So that's 12 volts and 1.5 amps running through that at the moment and you can see the LED. Uh, it's not too bright and it's not burning out. So when I flip the switch you should see the LED uh, the bottom one illuminate and the switch machine will change direction. Also another handy feature that I've noticed uh, with wiring it up this way is if you watch the LED um, you'll see that as the switch machine is in motion it'll be uh, the LED will be lit but it will be dim and then once the switch machine stalls the LED will go to full brightness. So we'll give that a test. Uh, that's one and two. One two. And that's that's it. It's very very easy uh, circuit to wire up and it works uh, very reliable. Yeah, what can I say? It's just very simple and easy and works well.